Forest Queen Milk Stout by Lost 40 Brewing out of Little Rock, Arkansas. This beer clocks in with an ABV at 5.3%, 8 IBUs. Let's get it in a glass and see what it tastes like. <laughs> Arkansas Beer Reviews. Uh, Forest Queen Milk Stout. This beer is made by Lost 40 Brewing out of uh, out of Little Rock. Uh, I have reviewed one of their other beers. Uh, what was that? I think it was called a snake. Well, I got it right up here. I got the can. Let me get it. Some words. Snake party. Yeah. Uh, Snake Party, their double IPA, I've done, done that, and I've, I've, I've got another beer of theirs <clears throat> that I'm going to do a review of. It's a Belgian-style uh, beer. I <clears throat> uh, just picked this one up uh, a few days ago. I'll give a dollar, a dollar fifty-seven for this. Uh, from what I understand, uh, it's supposed to be pretty good. I've only seen uh, one other review sort of like and that's by Tom the beer whisperer and he seemed to really like it so anyhow let's get it in glass yeah, it is definitely carbonated because I can hear it smells like Rice Krispies we have about a one finger head. It is very dark, black, and the head seems to be going away pretty quickly. You get some dark chocolate right up on the nose at first. That's about it. Maybe a hint of coffee in it. It's going to get a taste on it. Get what you get on the nose, which more of you get. <clears throat> definitely get the chocolate right up front. Tastes like a candy bar to me. That type of chocolate. A uh, very little, very smooth velvet, velvety. If I'm saying that word right, <coughs> on the tongue. <clears throat> very little bitterness on the finish. Say a medium. Medium uh, mouthfeel on this. <clears throat> it is very good. I like it. <coughs> and it's if you like a if you like something that's chocolatey, uh, not real bitter. <clears throat> this will be a beer that you like. I don't like uh, I don't like beers that that are real just super bitter, especially when you drink them and and when you get to the finish of it, it just busts you with bitterness. I just ain't my ideal. I don't like that. I don't mind if it's balanced all the way through. <laughs> you know, where it's you got some sweetness or a malt, and then you get a little bit of bitterness on it. That's fine, but when it would just blast you with the, um, the bitterness, and I guess it, and it's not sweet on the finish. I don't care for that. Uh, Bradley, I don't know if he's posted yet uh, from Brad's beer reviews. Uh, we did a beer uh, review a while back. I think he has posted, but it was uh, a beer by Tall Grass Brewing, and it was a 16 bit. IPA, I believe, and I didn't care for that beer for that simple reason because it was just <clears throat> too bitter on the finish for me. I don't care for that. But this is definitely good. You already get just a hint of the coffee in there with it. Oh, this this is good. I would definitely buy this again if. Uh, <clears throat> if you haven't watched any other beer reviews, I'm going to stop just rating them, give them, uh, you know, beer caps. Well, I've done been them before. I'm just going to say if I tell you what I pick up out of it, if I like it or not, or whether I would buy it again. And that's, that's how I'm going to do mine from now on. But uh, <clears throat> let's see, untapped, give it a 3.96 out of. Uh, that's out of 684 uh, ratings, so I think that's pretty good. And I think it, 
The head don't stick around very long. It don't leave a whole lot of lacing, but you know, all that really matters is that it tastes good, and I, I, I definitely think it tastes good. Definitely good. Anyhow, now many of y'all probably not be able to get this, but if you do happen to be in the Little Rock area, uh, a good chance to get this. I would definitely give this a try. I'll try to put a link to this beer uh, that I've done. Uh, so if you haven't watched it, this is a really good one. I would like to get another one. I have found that uh, <coughs> uh, sometimes you need to drink my beer more than once to get a good handle on it. Uh, I don't feel like I've done like me before, but I have drank a beer before and be, oh, this is really good. And then drink it next time, you ain't too thrilled about it. So I think I think probably for me it'd probably take two or three beers to really get a, a handle on one. Probably on this one too, but uh, I don't see really any problem. Uh, probably me not liking this, and if I can get get another one, I would definitely try it. Uh, that's like the review that I did on the uh, Tall Grass Buffalo Sweat. I only had one of those <clears throat> that gave it a favorable uh, rating, but. I had since then, I bought them, uh, I think like they come in four packs. I bought one of those, and I really do like that beer. I think I've got one left, so uh, that's what I'm saying. I think you need, sometimes you need to drink a beer more than once to really get a handle on it. So, anyhow, this is Marvin uh, from Marvin Saw Beer Reviews here with doing uh, Forest Queen Milk Stout by uh, Lost 40 Brewing out of Little Rock, Arkansas. Uh, if you get a chance to try this, or if you had let me know what you think. Bye-bye.